Gertrude, what is that strange odor? Chloroform. Hold still, Kranz. Whenever I try to shave myself, I always make a mess. I tremble something awful. <laughs> Who are you? How did you get in here? Why don't we get out of something interesting? Like the machine guns you could arrange to sell me. Now, don't go jostling for your gun. After all, things can happen almost before you know it with a razor. This, this is outrageous, mister. I deal in agricultural machines and that's all. If you want guns, you'll have to look elsewhere. Anything you say, Krantz. <clears throat> you darn fool. They're fakes. Every one of them. You don't, don't make sense. The bag's the one the boys and I got out of the carriage. The carriage was a red herring, plain and simple. They sent the real McCoy with someone else. What if that fellow? Uh, I think he's looking for them, the same as us. Only came here to find out if they've been delivered already. Damn. That's what I get for putting my trust in him, petty thief. Put your trust wherever you like. Just don't forget the bigger the thief, the harder he falls. Hmm. Well put, Fortune. Now let's get on with finding the real jewels. And rigging it so they'll blame the loss on their rebel peon. You know, it might be worth it. Well done, Gertrude. You too. I'm sure you know what to do with her. But be quick about it. We're going to do business today with Ramirez. The general's expecting to buy some machine guns. However, we're only going to give him the bullets. <laughs> <laughs> you see, he could never meet my price, so I'll simply take whatever he offers to cover my expenses and then uh, sell my arms to Maximilian. I'm sorry, we have to make you lose a friend this way, but uh, business is business. You're no friend of mine.